Hey there, we are going to talk today, diving into a trend that's raising some eyebrows in the workplace, and it's called secret PTO. Let's talk about it today here on the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. Hi there. I am Todd Rhodes, and I am your host for today's Healthy Church Staff Podcast. Now, exactly what is secret PTO? First of all, if you don't know what PTO is, it's just a really fancy initials for paid time off. It's vacation time, essentially. So what exactly is secret PTO, secret vacation time? It's a trend that many employers, and I'm not talking churches, I'm talking just employers in general, many employers are seeing that employees are wanting to take time off without actually telling their boss or using their official vacation days. Okay, so they might sneak in a long weekend, work remotely from a different location, or just even ghost for a few days, all while keeping up appearances. Now, uh, a recent CNBC article highlighted this trend that I was reading here this past week. And this is a trend particularly among millennials. And it seems like young workers feel uncomfortable or even anxious about asking for time off. So they resort to these kind of covert tactics instead. Now, could this happen in a church? It may be a little bit more difficult because most churches are are smaller, have smaller staffs. A lot of churches have staff that are fairly office-based, so it might be a little difficult to just go to someplace and on a Friday, just kick off on a Friday and just nobody sees you and you just work remotely. Some churches have some remote policies, though, so it, it could happen. But here's the problem. This secret PTO phenomenon, and even even if it's not happening in your church, here's what I want you to think about. Because even if your staff can't take a secret PTO, they still may be having some of the signs that cause people to want to do this. Okay, and that's what I want to talk about. The the secret PTO phenomenon really could be a sign of a deeper issue, and that's maybe a culture of overwork. Or burnout, when employees feel like they can't take a break without facing repercussions, that's a red flag. So on one side of the spectrum, it could be they feel overworked and they need a break. On the other side of the spectrum, it could just be that they're a lazy employee. (laughs) I've seen a few lazy church staff members before that just take days off or sit at their desk and don't really do anything because they're not motivated. It could be any number of reasons. But let's talk about the red flag issue. Overwork, burnout, those kind of things that might be causing this feeling in in a staff member or an employee. So how do we create a healthier work environment in our churches where our staff feel comfortable taking the time off that they need and deserve? And the first is we just have to lead by example. Make sure you're taking your own vacation time and encouraging your team to do. I've seen churches, matter of fact, I was a part of a church that at one point that Sure, they gave vacation time, but when it came time to take the vacation, man, they made you feel guilty for taking it, like you were being unfaithful by taking your vacation. And honestly, it was more work. Maybe you've experienced this before. It was more work to go on vacation than just to work during the vacation. Don't be that place. And that's the second one. Be a a church that has a culture that allows for that paid time off and a culture of trust and openness. Let your staff know that it's okay. It's okay to ask for time off. Matter of fact, insist that they use their vacation time. No carryovers. You need to rest yourself and be at your very best, and you can't if you're working all the time. Make sure that they know that you value their well-being and encourage that open communication and address those concerns that they might have. A third option would be to offer some flexible work arrangements. I know this is controversial in churches, but if possible, considering offer offering a, a remote work option or some flexible schedules from time to time. And this can allow employees to take some breaks without feeling like they're completely disconnected. Two more things. Number four, provide adequate PTO. Most churches do. Some churches don't. But make sure that your church, uh, church offers competitive PTO packages that allow employees to take the time off and that they need to rest and recharge. And then lastly, recognize the signs of burnout. If you're a supervisor of staff, be aware of the signs of burnout in your staff, such as increased irritability or decreased productivity. Uh, Withdrawal is a good sign that somebody is, is starting to get burned out. 
and be sure to offer some support and resources to help them manage that stress and to prevent work burnout. Okay, so here's the bottom line. The secret PTO trend is a wake-up call for all of us that manage staffs. And it's time to create a culture where our staff feel valued and supported and empowered to take the time off that they need to thrive. Okay, if you're looking for more resources or guidance on creating healthy church staff or work environment in your church, I'd love to be able to help you sit down and and maybe coach you or mentor you through that. You can reach out to me anytime, podcast at chemistrystaffing.com. All right, thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back tomorrow, and I hope you'll join me on the Healthy Church Staff Podcast.